In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one options along with the icon here. And when I click, it will show the eight options. You can see here option one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just given the name as option one only. You can just change it depending on the requirement. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangle which is the top corner around it just draw a rectangle something like this and then i'm going to rotate it with the help of this rotate options we'll go to rotate and rotate left 90 degrees and put it here again if you want to increase the height you can increase it i'm going to place this here then i'm going to uh, replicate this one or duplicate this one four times so i can just hold the control shift key bring it down all right and again if you want to be more curved you can see here you can just adjust this one the small orange point all right so let it be like this so now i'm going to duplicate this again select both of this hold the control shift key and bring it down all right so make sure that it is align it in the center exactly two at the top of this line and two at the bottom of this line all right this line and then go to the insert shapes select a rectangle Again, the rectangle should be the same height of the rectangle which we have used here. And for this, I'm going to give some different color. Again, hold the control shift key, bring it down. Control shift key and release it. Okay, you can see here, make sure that it is properly aligned and select both of these. Again, bring it down. All right. So again, if you zoom it here, you can see here it is not properly aligned. All right. So it's better to align from the beginning. All right. So you can see here we need to just align it properly. Or the other way is you can just use the options to align this and this I'm going to select. You can just say align. I can just say top. You can see here like this also you can align it properly. All right, so once this is done, I'm going to give some different color and later on we can change this color. Why am I giving this color is to make sure that when we do some uh, changes in the object shape, uh, we know exactly what changes we are doing and for which option. All right. So the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, the top options, right mouse click and click on edit point. And you can see here there are four points. I'm going to select the top right uh point right mouse click and just click on the delete point so it becomes kind of a right triangle so this triangle i'm going to drag this and put it exactly in the center of the slide the same way i'm going to do the same thing right mouse click edit point and delete it again same thing edit point now instead of deleting the top i'm going to delete the bottom one again delete the point and here also again edit points and i'm going to delete this and move this at the top exactly here so you can see here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these objects and i'm going to make it as shape outline make it no outline so here this particular image which i have downloaded from the internet i'm going to give this color and before giving this color what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and put it to the right side as well so let me just move it here so i'm going to select all these shapes you can see here by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it even i forgot to group this press ctrl g you can see here one group has been created and then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d again go to the shape format to rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it again exactly here all right and right mouse click ungroup or you can just select the control hold the control shift g to ungroup it here also control shift g and again control shift g to ungroup it 
So now let me just use this particular color combinations. You can see here, I'm going to start with this orange here. So select this, go to the shape format, or I can just go here. I can select the color using the eyedropper. I'm going to choose this one. So same thing here also, the same color I'm going to give, which is here. So now instead of doing separately, I can select both of these and go to the eyedropper select the second color the third one i'm going to use the eyedropper again the third color and the fourth color here you can see this is my fourth color now this side i'm going to select this and i'm going to start the color selection from here so you can see here i'm just giving some different color combinations This is the third one and this is the fourth one so you can see here i have done all the color selection but one thing you can notice it here uh, it is the depth is not looking so what i'm going to do is let me just delete this i don't need now i'm going to select this one go to the colors more colors increase the shade of this you can see here so it looks more depth now the same thing i'm going to do i'm not going to change any color i'm just going to increase the shade of this so it looks more darker here so i'm going to do the same thing and here also coming to this again increase it one by one you need to select and you can you need to increase it all right so here also and the last one so you can see here it looks more depth now all right so once this is done the next thing i can do is i can add one either the rectangular shape or the oval shape exactly in the center all right and i'm going to give the outline as white outline and i can increase the a weight of the outline and then the shape fill i can just give any color of my choice here so it looks something like this so once this is done what the next thing which we need to do is you need to add some icons to it so you can go to the insert click on the icons and choose nine different icons depending on the requirement so randomly i'm just going to choose some icons here you can see here i need total nine icons I'm just selecting some random icons here and eight and maybe this is nine and click on insert the icons got inserted here let me just move it aside I'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 all right and then one icon I'm going to choose and put it in the center the other one I'm going to put for each option sorry for each options i'm going to choose one one icon here you can see so select this one and move it one by one so here also i'm just going to do it you can see here and the last one and make sure that all these icons I'm going to select by holding the shift key. I'm going to make this as white icon so that it will be more visible. So once this is done, you can go to the insert text box. You can add, this is option one. All right, make this as bold and put it here. Go to insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one and i'm going to delete this large text reduce the font size you can see here and put it here and if you want you can just make this font as white and this also you can make this as white select both of this make sure to align left and press ctrl g to group it Control D to duplicate. This is my option one. This is my option two. Align it properly, three and four. So now I'm going to select four options. 
this text and just drag it hold the control shift key and drag it to the right and release it so this is my option number one i can just change to option two option three you can see here then the option four all right so then i can just make this is as option five you can just change it according to the requirement you can make it option a b c also and this is option eight all right so once this is done i'm going to select this 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 and this press ctrl g to group it now i'm going to select this one you can see here i can select this also i can make it group and bring to front all right so this this hold the shift key while selecting the objects press ctrl g so you can see here i have selected one one object and make it a group here so the same thing goes here let me just select the icon and press ctrl g the same thing goes here and then the last one all right so we have done all the groupings so now it's time to make the morphing effect so let me just zoom out duplicate this slide and don't do anything to this slide go to the first slide and move this outside of the slide area you can see here i'm just moving it and here also i'm just moving it outside of the slide area and only the center one will be there and go to the second one transitions make it morph so it looks something like this and then the duration we need to reduce it to one second all right again if you want to give some different uh, options we can give but let it be like this now if i play it comes something like this you can see here so depending on the requirement you can just change any background the one background which i have used here you can see here i have used this particular background image 